gratitude. Be grateful for your learnings, your lessons, everything that you know. How do you know what you know? Think back. Think to when you were a little child and you didn't even know how to walk or crawl even. You learnt that. And then you learnt words from your parents. Then you went to school and you learnt. You learnt to add and subtract. You learnt to spell. Maybe you can even speak another language or ride a bicycle or drive. So think about all the things that you know and the people, the infrastructure, the schools, the internet, all the things that contributed to you knowing what you know. We take that for granted, don't we? That's the thing about gratitude. When, when you start to notice, there are so many things to be grateful for. You know, you can even be grateful for what you know you don't know. I'll say that again. You know that you don't know. So for example, I can speak very little bit of Spanish, muy poquito, but if I wanted to learn Spanish, easy as. I just need to go onto a website or join one of these schools, language colleges, and I can learn it. Or I could go to Spain and learn Spanish. The thing is, if you want to learn something, if I want to learn Kung Fu, or Taekwondo, or learn to cook, I could just learn it. So be grateful for the things that you could easily learn. I guess what I'm saying is that we're living in a time where information is on tap. Whatever we want to learn, we can. And that's fabulous, isn't it? So the other kind of learning that I think we need to be grateful for is to learn from our own life lessons, our experiences. You might say to me, how can I be grateful for the things that, that just didn't go the way I wanted them to? For the things that hurt? For the people who actually hurt me? How do I be grateful for that? Well, I have an exercise for you. And my invitation is to do it. So what you need to do is you can use a notebook. And what you need to do is create a new page for each person or situation that you feel was bad for you. For example, for me, I could have a page and call it, and call it my divorce. I could have another page and call it my car accident. So think about things that weren't good, people and situations, and have a header on each fresh page. And then what I want you to do is to list what was great about that. Yeah, you heard me right. What was great about that? So what was great about that situation? What was great about that person? What did I learn? And that's when you find gratitude. I know you might be thinking, how can I be grateful for something that was just so, it just wasn't great, it was so horrible, it was so painful. How can I be grateful? Well, I have a little story to tell you and this might help you see that we always, 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 as human beings, we always choose the best option available to us at the time, based on the resources we had, or the frame of mind we were in, or the situation, we always choose the best choice, and hence the gratitude. So okay, let me tell you the story. Imagine that you are in a Mission Impossible movie, or in a um, James Bond movie, and there you are, standing in this room and suddenly you notice that the walls are closing in. You've seen that before, haven't you? The walls are closing in slowly and there's a timer and it's like 60, 59, 58, 57. You realize that you're running out of time. You're stuck in this room. If you don't do anything quick, you are actually going to be smashed. And unfortunately, we're not like, you know, Tom and Jerry cartoons where it's smashed and you can come back to life. No, you're dead. It's all over. Looking on the floor, there are three manholes, three of them. So you realize that, well, I better get out and this seems to be the only way. There's no doors, no windows. It's just four walls and the walls are closing in. So you lift the lid off the first manhole. And what's in there? Sharks and crocodiles. Yeah, huge jaws, ready to snap. And you're like, oh my God, you shut it. And then you open the other manhole and guess what's in there? 
spiders, scorpions, cobras. Yeah, I guess we're in Australia. And again, you go, oh no, and you shut it. Now you open the third one. And this one is actually water, but it's sewer water. Do you know what sewerage water smells like? Yeah, it doesn't smell very good. Actually, it's, it's shit. I'm sorry. But what you notice is that there's that much space. And if you jump in there, you could actually swim and survive and breathe. So what do you do? Think about it. You've got the walls coming in. You've got crocodiles and sharks. You've got spiders, cobras and scorpions. And then you've got the sewerage water where you can survive if you jumped in there. So obviously, you jump in there. And then you find yourself alive. For the first few minutes, you're like, yay, God, I'm out of there, I'm alive, wow. And then after a while, you find yourself swimming in shit and it smells and you're like, oh no, what am I doing here? And this is what I mean. Sometimes we have to choose the best option and it may not be wonderful, but it truly saved your life. Gratitude. Think, think about what was great about these situations. When you can start doing this, you will learn how every single experience you have in your life is truly something to be grateful for. I'll see you in the next episode on gratitude.